is a concern for all of us, especially those of us that live on city water supplies. Lead is the leading health care concern for small children and the, the damages of lead poisoning are irreversible. Lead gets into the water in the distribution system. The water treatment plant typically does a pretty good job at cleaning the water up, but it's the old infrastructure, the old pipes that have lead in them, especially when it gets to your house. Lead is a very malleable product and was used quite extensively in the production of pipes, uh, solder for copper, and it was used in brass to make the brass very machinable. So there's lead content in a lot of the plumbing fixtures that brings the water into your house. It's always a good idea to test the water so that you know what you're dealing with specifically in the water that comes out of your faucet. The water treatment plant, they test the water all the time, but it's down at their end of the pipe. You really need to know specifically for lead what's coming out of your faucet. And there are simple tests available. You can get these, you can get more complex tests that test for various parameters, or there's other tests that are available that, that actually we ship off to the laboratory. In 1986, as part of the Safe Drinking Water Act, lead was prohibited from these very fixtures. But the weight and content was further reduced just two years ago in 2014. So there is, we are exposed, there is lead content in a lot of the plumbing and a lot of the infrastructure throughout our homes and the city's delivery system. There's quite a few things you can do to protect you and your family from lead poisoning. And it's very simple in either point of use filtration or even point of entry. Point of use is significantly our target because that's the water we're going to consume. That's the water we drink. So it makes sense to treat that or filter that right there before it goes into our glass. Top of the list would be reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis is actually separating the water molecule from inorganic contaminants. So you're getting probably the cleanest water you're going to get with reverse osmosis. Also included with that system is sediment and carbon filtration. So you get a very broad spectrum of reductions. Not just lead, but other things. Chlorine, debris, and, and several things that we worry about that might be in the water supply. There's a, another product that works really well. It's a ultra filter and it uses carbon filtration in front of a hollow fiber membrane. And the carbons are specially formulated to get rid of lead. The hollow fiber membrane is filtering at 0 0.025 microns, so we get really fine filtration. That would be the, a great step if you didn't want to go to the reverse osmosis step. The Water Quality Association suggests cation resin ion exchange. For, for the rest of us, that's a water softener. Water softener does a great job at grabbing a hold of hardness causing minerals and lead, which will provide lead free water throughout your house. Actually they don't. For whole house elimination of organisms, um, bacteria and viruses, uh, ultraviolet systems would be a great addition to a water softener for whole house water treatment. And by gosh, you'd certainly want to treat the whole house for any of those living organisms that cause you illness.